how you guys doing welcome back to the channel today we are getting into the negro league stories uh, i'm excited to do this uh i've been very excited to play this most of the game was announced though without further ado let's um let's get into it start with special page let's go on the mound the legendary Leroy Satchel Page. Arguably the greatest pitcher this sport has ever seen. We know for certain the oldest rookie in the history of Major League Baseball. Now, Major League Baseball says that Satchel was 42 years old when he finally got his opportunity to pitch in the Major Leagues with then the Cleveland Indians. Most who knew Satchel believe that he was at least 10 years older than he claimed to be. Satchel was likely born into the early to mid-1890s in Mobile, Alabama. And so that birth record was typically kept in the back page of the family Bible. And according to Satchel, the goat ate that page out the Bible. His original tombstone has a question mark by his birthday. Yeah, the old man literally took it with him to his grave. But when we talk about Satchel Page, there is really no one to compare him to. Not someone who combines the longevity. By his estimation, he pitched in over 2,600 games. The great stuff. Recorded some 55 no-hitters and only God knows how many strikeouts. And the charisma. He could sell it. Yeah, he could sell it, but he could also back it up. There will never, ever, ever be another Leroy Satchel page. Wow. That is very, very interesting. Got to get four strikeouts, which shouldn't be a problem because this guy just throws fireballs. Got a big windup. No, no, we're doing. We're gonna just do fastballs. Why not? You throw a hundred and three, whatever you can throw. Let's throw it. Hundred and five. God damn. Oh, let's guess. That high leg kick so distracting and tough to figure out. Sanders makes the grab, and there's one down. Yeah, All right. The kick really messes with the hitter's timing, and if you can get past that and find the release point somehow, you still got to hit some of the best stuff any pitcher's ever had. Glass stands in now and watches. That old legend is probably disgusting. 105. Oh, my God. Like Satchel, who can change speeds, run it into triple digits, or get you out on that front foot with the changeup, you can run into one and make contact. The punch out there, Satchel really. This guy, man. At the I'm excited for this guy online. I'm just gonna spam fastballs here because, like, Next is in for he don't even want to swing, which I don't blame him though, because, like, what do you do at 105? This is this is fun. We had one person contact the ball so far. So if I can paint 105 in a corner. Early on 105, all right. For 105 to 75. That was a terrible pitch, but it should be fine, though. How do you stop that? Literally, 105, 75, like, come on. You just literally have to, like, guess, and hopefully you run the fastball, because... 
Good slider. All right, here we go. That was fun, man. I'm looking forward to picture with this guy again. Going on to the next episode. Satchel famously had names for his pitches, so he didn't have fastball, curveball, changeup. No, not Satchel. Satchel had what he called his midnight creeper. He had the two humper. He had the bat dodger. He had the hesitation pitch. He had the long tom, the short tom, the jump ball, the trouble ball, the radio ball, the wobbly ball, the dipsy do. And he also had a pitch that he famously called his B ball. You know why he called it the B ball? Because Satchel says it bees where I want it to be when I want it to be there. And so he had all the stuff you needed to be a star. And he was just that. He was not only the Negro League's biggest and brightest star, but he was one of the biggest stars in baseball history. We got to pitch two scoreless innings, which shouldn't be a problem. For a strike, and that's how this game gets started. This, this is really cool. But that dipsy. But that dipsy do. Chris, it must have been so Damn. difficult hitting Satchel with so many different out pitches. Ah, right, you're just throwing one over five on the corner. Bye bye. Not the corner, but whatever. This fastball is just dig in against someone like that. You're just guessing every pitch, especially with his amazing command. You start to get a little bit on that fastball, and then we just slow it down. That's nasty, man. Perkins caught Satchel for a lot of seasons, and for a while, he wouldn't even give signs. He'd just hold up the mitt, and Satchel would hit it. Next yeah, pitch in the dirt, right. and that's ball one. That's our first ball so far. We've been... Next offering is fouled back. Oh, little dude. That's... I ain't better at that. That's nasty. Oh, man, that works out, though. I just had to pitch one more inning and we'll be good with this one. And a foul ball. Satchel kicks and delivers. Yep. And a good eye there. That's Next offering misses. And that's ball two. Yeah, that was. Come on, umpire. What's going on here? Dude, my pinpoint right now is not. It's not going good. It's alright, though. He just too good to matter. I don't think a ball's been put in play so far. I think. Maybe the first game might put it in play, but Just miss. I don't think any been anything's been put in play hard anyway. Next offering is downstairs. Whatever. Page winds and fires. You, you wouldn't have a good eye. Hit that. Fouls one off. Two and two. Satchel into his motion. The long. Then we just slow it down with the creep. All right, uh, I might walk somebody. Swings through it and that's or not. Strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. And now the center fielder, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. And that's in there for strike one. 
Old McDonald had a form. E I E I O. Next episode, Sad Choose 105 Mile Prior Fastball. Let's get into it. They clock Satchel Page unknowingly in a ball game in Griffith Stadium in DC. Satchel retires the side, and the kid from the military comes over. Mr. Page, Mr. Page, we clock your fastball at 105 miles per hour. Satchel looks at the kid, he says, Son, I wish I'd known you were timing me. I could have thrown harder than that. Yeah, you'll hear from the old Negro League players who saw Satchel in his prime that if anyone tells you they saw his fastball in the hitting zone, they're lying. Yeah, you might have seen it leave his hand, but by the time it got there to home plate, it literally was about the size of an aspirin tablet. All right, we just got to strike out one batter, which we've been doing all day, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just going to throw them all gas, and we should be good. Shouldn't be any issues. Got to be three fastballs, right? It just has to be. That was fun. Next episode, Satchel's B ball. Let's get into it. All right, I didn't read what we had to do, but anyway. Had no hitter, Satchel threw against the New York Black Yankees in 1932. One of the greatest single game performances ever. The 1-0 from Satchel. There's a strike. In that I guess I only can throw the fastball, which don't matter anyway. That's all I've been doing, so. Two hits. Only three other pitchers in Major League history have ever done that. And one of them was Hall of Famer Catfish Hunter. If I can get a double play here. Hit that paint. Give him some high heat. Yeah. Imagine getting hit with that. Ooh. Good defense, baby. Chewing gum wrapper warm up. Let's go. What really made Satchel so special was 105 with pinpoint control. He could put it exactly where he wanted to put it, and I'm not talking about just throwing strikes. Uh uh. The catcher set the target, he hit the target. He didn't miss. You see, he didn't warm up in the bullpen like most pitchers do, throwing to the catcher across home plate. You know what Satchel would use? A stick of foil chewing gum wrapper. The catcher would sit the chewing gum wrapper on top of home plate. And wherever the catcher moved the chewing gum wrapper, Satchel right over the top of that chewing gum wrapper. And as Satchel would say, he'd work both corners of that chewing gum wrapper. He was absolutely uncanny. All right. 
Um, let's see what we got in store now. This is cool. Ready to go. Now the left fielder, Harvey. We got to do pitch one inning, don't give up a run, don't do a walk, okay? And he deals. And getting that B-ball. That's in there. And we're underway here this afternoon. The crazy part that 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 pitch is so good he has or other ones you can throw, which is just insane. Comes to the plate. Swing and oh. struck him out. And now here is Marshall. Oh. Next offering is down low. Count one and that's ball one. A lot of pitchers with great command or great velocity, but having both is so rare. Satchel was one of the special few. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. My pinpoint is like being nasty. Spotted all over the place. It's just ridiculous. You know, Ryan Helsley dialed it up to 104 miles per hour in 2022. To think Satchel was doing it 80, 90 years before that is just crazy. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Some creep. And fires. That's hard. It's just getting started. Top of the first. All right, come on, guys. Always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some that. type of contact. Ah. Get out of here. Back to back strikeouts. They're now. Get out of here. In there for strike one. The 0 2 pitch from Satchel. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a Bringing them all the way, let's go. One of my favorite Satchel Page stories involves the old man pitching in the Denver Post Tournament. And they're playing an off-white semi-pro team. The first kid from the semi-pro white team gets into the batter's box. Satchel throws him a fastball. He dribbles it down the third base line. It stays fair. The kid beats it out, gets an infield hit. Well, about that time, one of the kids from the opposing team steps into the dugout steps and says, let's beat him. He ain't nothing but an overrated darkie. Well, Satchel Page had a nickname for everyone. His nickname, famously for the legendary Buck O'Neill, was Nancy. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, Satchel looks over at first base, and he says, Nancy. Did you hear that? Buck said, yes, Satchel, I heard him. He said, Nancy, bring him in. So Buck turns and motions for the outfield to take a couple steps in. Satchel looks over at first base. He says, Nancy, bring him all the way in. Honest to God's truth, there were seven guys kneeling around the mound. And Satchel strikes out the side on nine straight pitches. He looks into the opposing team's dugout and says, overrated darky head. But the legendary Buck O'Neill always said, if he had one game to win and any choice of any pitcher from any era, it would be the legendary Satchel Page. He says, you might beat him when he was out there messing around. But when he was locked in, forget about it. Bruh. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine that? <laughs> like, if they sit on a mound, why are you just getting dominated? Oh, man. That's rough.
Bring him in, Nancy. Bring him all the way in. That's the expectful for real, for real. Satchel, I ain't gonna hold you. That's confidence, though. You were sitting down on the mound while somebody was throwing a baseball at actual batters. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. On two. Satchel kicks and delivers. One bye bye. Down on a three pit strikeout. And the batter now, Gordon. Oh, and he down. swings and misses at the initial offering. Singing the oh, audacity oh, Satchel had in this game. Just daring the batters to put one in play. This is incredible. That made him famous and the sheer skill that oh, made him great. Parker now in the box. Comes up empty with a oh, swing there. Let's go, Satchel. Who needs a defense behind you anyway? That's nasty. Now, Major League Baseball says that Satchel was 42 years old when he finally got his opportunity to pitch in the Major Leagues in 1948 with the Cleveland Indians. He, along with Larry Doby, would help Cleveland win the last World Series at that time that Cleveland had won. Many thought Satchel should have been named Rookie of the Year. He goes 6-1 and one with a 2.4 ERA his rookie season at age 42, which means he might have been closer to 52. Hit. What do we gotta do? Pitch one inning. Don't give up a run. We can do that. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Rose. We can definitely do that. On the ground to the left. That first out. Handles. The throw to first. Oh. And a quick out number one. So here comes Satchel into the game in relief. 42 years old here. What is his um? Leonard in the box now. Hey. That <laughs> lost a little bit of bite on that, must say. Lost a little bit of bite. Ground ball left side. The ageless rookie sets down another. Hopefully, I need any strikeouts because I don't have any yet. All things so. touched, not give any runs. Satchel H. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, two now. Gotta trust your fastball. Your MLB debut, Boog, and even more so at Satchel's age, whatever it is. And down on strikes he goes. He's a great. All right, you gotta pitch two innings, can't give up any runs. Should be all good. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, catcher. Can do everything. Gotta strike him out infield. Got him All right. 
If I can get double play here, that'd be nice. Put it in play. Or not. Ooh, let's just move. There we go. This dude just dominating. I think he's a rookie, but even still, like, this dude online is going to be great. These are pretty good stories, too. Learning a lot of stuff I didn't even know. Say bye-bye. Come on, Satchel. I miss having that 105 versus the white people. That works, though. Come on. Got a piece. Umpire, come on, man. I don't know if this is a race thing, but I don't know about that. That can put it nasty. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. All right, two gone. In there, and it's on one. On one. Let's go. And this should be it. There we go. Bye bye. Now, Satchel in 1965 is believed to be 59 years old if you believe he was born in 1906, which I do not, but for the sake of the story, we'll say that he was indeed born in 1906. He pitches three shutout innings against the Boston Red Sox, giving up only one hit in those three innings. Great trivia question. Who got that long hit off of Satchel? The legendary Carl Yastrzemski. Yes. Yaz gets a double against the old man. Satchel leaves him at third and shut down everybody else over three of the most remarkably pitched innings in baseball history. And they were all turning going back into the dugout in utter disbelief that they couldn't hit that old man. This dude is like 60, 70 years old just out here dominating people, which is unbelievable actually unbelievable he's that old doing that just track out one batter and pitch uh three innings ready to go now and the batter will be the shortstop hill up the middle nice to first, one up, one down. the main contact though will make it go a little faster which is good for me Yeah, he probably like 60, 70, 55, 70 pitching this game, which is nuts. Satchel would tell you a million different reasons why he was able to keep playing so long. Not sure which one of them I believe, though. Sherman stands in now and watches strike one. Comes up empty on the All right, I need a strikeout. Let's go ahead and get it right here. There we go. Second inning, set to go. And now the right fielder, Rose. 
just can't get two hits, so they can hit a home run, just can't, just can't give up two of them. How you take that, bro? Come on. Eagle eye. Yeah, dude's got an eagle eye, I guess. Okay. And it's even up. Two balls, two strike three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Satchel just keeps rolling along. Now with the play, Leonard in there for strike one. Like, this dude's unbelievable. It's crazy how he's pushing this much. People now like get hurt just so easily. It's crazy. He's 70 years old, 60 years old pitching. Give him a fastball. Strike three. There we go. The old man keeping these hitters in check. All right, one more inning. These are cool jerseys, too. There we go. Save me a little bit of time there. Yeah, he no, he's probably like 65, 70. Might be more than that. The guy said he's 10 years older than what he said he was, so tell me he's 69 right here. If he, if that's true, that's crazy. That is incredible. Incredible. All right, started with a fastball, then with a fastball. Nice. Yeah, zero speed, well. He was the Negro League. Without question, Satchel Page was the Negro League's biggest and brightest star. The man would ride into towns, and the entire towns would shut down to watch him pitch. Everyone wanted to see the old man do his thing. Was he a little bit disheartened when he wasn't the first to break baseball's color barrier? Of course he was because in many ways, he was the Negro Leagues. And I'm not sure there's any more lore or legend surrounding any one athlete. Perhaps it's because we don't really know how old he truly was. And because he dazzled us for decades. By the time he ended his career, he was either 59 or maybe 69 years old. And he was still getting it done. Only the immortal Leroy Satchel Page. That's a really good story. I thank you guys uh for watching. Um next time we'll probably just go in order. Do Hilton Smith, but until then, um thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace out.